again, everyone. It's Mrs. Mackenzie and Carter, Carter and Parker. And the land of the mermaids somewhere's around here. I'm sure we'll find her at some She's point. She's sleeping. She? Well, keep your eye open. She might pop up. So thank you again for joining us this week. This week, we are going to talk about the story of creation. Have you ever wondered, where did the earth come I know, from? I know the whole entire story. You do? Wow. <laughs> we, I did in school. You did in school? That's awesome. So <laughs> we're going to go through that today. Because have you ever wondered, like, where did the earth come from? What, it was what made black. day and night? It was just black. Just black, hey? And then, and then she made the sun. And then the sun, that's right. And then, and the then there's land, and there's oceans, and animals. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, Carter's going to teach us all, all about this today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if we look around, we can kind of start to uncover the clues to figure out how the world was made and who did it. I mean, if it we think about God. it, it was God, that's right. And God is someone who is very, very powerful, right? Because, I mean, think I about like it. I like the song. Like last week. Like the song. So we're going to sing a song today. That's right. Um, so he is someone who is very, very powerful, right? He had to put the sun up in the sky. He had to put the moon up there, all the stars. And he had to be pretty smart. Because think about how many different things are in the world. Right? One thousand. Oh, way more than that. Like, like everything a, kind of works together, right? Like Because we need food and water to live. Animals do, right? Plants grow. Bees make plants grow too, right? The world is such an intricate and neat place, right? And clearly, whoever made the world, God. as I mentioned, God loves us very much because he <laughs> put everything we need to be taken care of, right? And we talked about that in the previous weeks. So before we move on a little bit, let's start with our prayer, okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. <coughs> Thank you, God, for the amazing world you created. Thank you for the sunshine to light the day and keep us warm, and the night time to keep, no, no, and the night time to help us sleep. Thank you for the land and the sea, all, no, no, for the land and the sea, all the animals and food for us to be. Thank you, have, oh no, thank you for having so much love for us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. <coughs> Amen. In the name of the Father, uh, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Um, well, I know Carter is dying to tell us a story, but I think we will watch a little video. Torch, or do you just want to tell us? Maybe you can act it out. Um, I forgot. And he forgot. So, good thing <laughs> is I found a little video clip that we can do to watch it. Unless, Carter, are you sure? Last chance. Um, Do you want to act it out? I don't think I know. Okay. Well, I'm well, let's watch. Shady that's this all week. Ooh. I remember. How many, would, how many days did it take? Seven. Seven. All right. Well, let's check out that movie. Creation. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and he made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the moon and stars. He put the sun in the sky super duper far. On day number five, God made birds and fish, dolphins and whales and things that go squish. On day number six, God made animals and bugs, Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug. On day number six, God also made man. Uh -oh. Hi! He said it was good and part of his plan. <laughs> On day number seven, God stopped to rest. He saw what he'd made. It was his best. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to sing a song together. It's another really, really good one. I have loved for a long time. And it's got some cool actions, okay? Mm -hmm. So it starts, we take our little fingers with our pointers, okay? And we say, our God, oh, God. and then he's awesome, right? So we do thumbs up, is an awesome God. Mm -hmm. And then we say, he reigns from heaven, so that's hands up, above, with wisdom, so that's using our brains, and power, show those muscles, and love, our God is an awesome God. Okay? Okay. okay. Got the gist of it? Okay, let's try again. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Should we do it with some music now? Sure. Let's do it. I mean, our God is an awesome God, <laughs> all right? Well, that's been a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see. We've learned the story of creation. We've celebrated how awesome our God is. We've sang songs, we've danced, and now let's do a little craft. So today's craft, we're gonna make a mobile. Do you know what a mobile is? A no. mobile phone. A mobile phone. That's not the mobile I'm talking about. A mobile is something like you hang, like and usually you'll see them in like um, nurseries above babies. Oh, like when you're making, hanging, yeah. Are you, is it like when you're making Pinocchio? I don't even know what that means. But no. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to make a mobile to, and it, from, it, it's going to hang all of the days of creation to show us in seven days what God created. Should we do it? Yay! Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. This week you're gonna find your mobile papers along with some activity sheets. So for the craft day, we're using these two papers, and then you're gonna have some yarn or some ribbon in there as well. So that's gonna be how we hang everything. The only other stuff you're gonna need are some like markers or crayons, scissors, and I'd say tape. Okay. So what we're gonna do is first color. This is the world and God created, and we can color these. These are each of the days. I have them all labeled on there, so we'll color them. Then we're gonna cut them all out, so you'll have six circles. Don't forget the seven days, so this is God, he's seeing it and he's resting and seeing what he sees. And cut this big, huge um, top part. This is gonna be the top of our mobile. Got it? Got it. Let's do it. So then, once you get these cut out and colored, this big one like this, we're gonna fold in half. Okay, right? So then we're going to take each of the circles and you can uh, cut the <coughs> string to be whatever length you want. You'll cut, how many pieces of string are we going to need? Uh, we will need a seven. Seven. Good seven? Job. Yep, seven. So we'll take, take the string and we can make them <coughs> each different lengths, right? So then they kind of hang differently. And we'll pop that piece. So once they're cut and colored, then you can kind of line them up. Take some uh, tape. I think tape's gonna be the best way to go here. And actually, it'll be nice if before you stick this together, you put them in the inside, right? So you're gonna have your six pieces of string hanging from here. Then you'll tape these all down so that you can hang it. 
carters here did an awesome job coloring it and then we cut a whole bunch of the strings at random length so we're going to lay them on here so how many do we need seven seven okay so, the strings hanging. So you can put a whole bunch of glue on here, and then you're gonna fold it and glue it shut. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So now, oops, we got one sticking on there. Now we're just gonna finish coloring ours and hang them off. And then also too, if you did want, you could always take a string and. Uh, Put it on here inside so that way you can hang it up from something. Then it'll hang and open the hands. It's all glued together and everything. He's laid them out. So now he's got his colored circles for each of the days and he's going to put them on each. So day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, and then day seven. And he will uh, take them up. So another way too is take a piece of tape and it's kind of almost like flipping it backwards. So um, if you take, where's day two? Day two, put it here and you stick it behind it and then you put the piece of tape there. That might just be a little bit easier to get them hanging on there. Oh. All right, that's all complete. So we got them all hanging and then you guys can reference the seven days of creation. We kind of did a little fold on ours so it kind of plays around a bit. Good job guys. All right, everyone, thank you again for joining us today. I hope you had another fun Kids Kingdom at home with us. Um, I hope you had fun making the mobiles, singing the songs, watching the shows. I uh, look forward to seeing you again next week. And as always, I'm going to leave you here with a bit of a challenge. So I want you to close your eyes, okay? Close them. What do you see? Right? You see it's dark. And how do you feel? Right? The darkness can be lonely. It can be a bit scary. But open them up, right? Our God made the most amazing place for us. And we are so blessed. We are so lucky to have it, right? He created the world and everything in it. And no one else helped him do it. He did it all by himself. I want you to think about what your favorite part of God's creation is, right? What did he create that you love? What's something that you really like? I want you to think about this. Then I want you to draw a picture of it. Or maybe even write a prayer of thanks to God uh, for, for creating that, okay? So draw a picture of one of your favorite things God created or write a prayer thanking God for it, okay? That's your challenge this week. Otherwise, from Kids Kingdom here at home, God bless and see you next week. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.